Hello, and welcome to Desperate for a Name. I'm Mickey. And I'm Nati. And today we're talking about Greystoke! Mickey's very- Greystoke! Mickey is very- Grace. Okay, I'm done. Okay, thank you. Mickey <laughs> Mickey is very excited for today's episode of our tar tar Tarzanathon. Yeah, you see, no, no, we have to change it. Now it's the Greystoke-a-thon. Nah, it's just- It's the Tarzanathon. Fine, if it wasn't- You uh, came up with the name! I know, if it wasn't obvious- Yeah, though, Mickey really loves this movie that I don't we're love talk it, about. I do really like it, though. I do think it's a great Tarzan adaptation. As the Tarzan aficionado he is- <laughs> Yeah. As, as the only Tarzan aficionado in the tri-state, actually, I think maybe in like three countries or or actually no three nations. Let's just say not three nations, um, okay. continents. Sorry, in like three continents, probably. Don't give away our location. Yeah, you're right. Uh, all right, we we're live somewhere. Right. On we're Earth. somewhere. Yeah, we're somewhere in the solar system. Definitely not on the third planet from the sun. Um, and that's about it. Thry state area. Yes. I can't do a doofen schmerz. Hey, that's what you were trying to do? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, was... Anyway. Um, we're talking about Greystoke. We're talking about Greystoke. Just go ahead. Just just say whatever you want to say first, and I'll uh, say whatever right, I want to say we as start, we go along. Okay, I feel like also like we'll have to have a, like a couple of disclosures. Like, by disclosures, I mean also the fact that probably most a... people have never heard of this movie. A lot of people haven't. Like, um, Oh, and a lot of people haven't heard of like the two and a half hour Darzan adaptation. That like, like covered a lot of stuff no, from the nowadays. Book. When most people hear Tarzan, they either think Disney or <laughs> all right, two worlds, all right, one family. That or the like really old black and white serial movies. Yeah. Um. Or the silent Tarzan has had basically probably an incarnation. Or every, that one that no, no, every was in. every form of movie that exists, right? Like the movie format that exists: silent film, black and white, terrible serial. CGI. Ta Tarzan has a movie in all of them. Yeah. Um. I'm not saying they're all good. They're not all great. I'm just saying they are what they are. Unfortunately, not all. They are what they are. They are. We're moving on. Unfortunately, they are what they you don't are. Even know what I was gonna say. I don't <laughs> care. I know it was gonna be something bad. No, not really. Unfortunately, not all of them have Phil Collins. Well, that's true. You know, a lot of people don't seem to like him in the in the Tarzan movie, which I uh, think is wrong. And <laughs> he was bad in Brother Bear, but he was he worked in Tarzan. It worked in Tarzan. It's like they're not gonna sing in Tarzan, aside from that, like that one scene where all the animals are playing with you. Well, they're not singing. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I, like, I mean, you got Rosie O'Donnell doing like the whole shubity boppity. They're, they're kind of doing a scat number. Yeah, I think they invented scat like they, in the 1890s. Yes, they invented scat in the African jungle in the 1890s. I, I don't, I don't know the history of scat well enough. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't invented by a bunch of monkeys. Well, and, I mean, and an elephant. Oh, I mean, a couple not monkeys. They were gorillas, Nazi. Sorry, uh, they were gorillas. I'm pretty sure it wasn't invented by a bunch of like gorillas and, and an elephant and bashing teapots together. But booty boop booty bop. Did you know the teapot from that scene in Tarzan is a teapot from Beauty and the Beast? Yes, it was, there were a couple Easter eggs. Uh, they always have a bunch of Disney Easter eggs. But anyway, we're not talking about the Disney movie talk today. Talk about Grace. Talk about Grace Soak. Oh, yeah. Um, Actually, and probably to this date, consider one of the most um actually loyal adaptations to the Tarzan. I mean, they change, they, they do change things, but it's probably one of the more like- I'm gonna have some words. They're, they're, it's one of the more loyal adaptations. Not about the adaptation, but you know. Um, Picky knows, I'm okay. gonna have words. So some production wise, a little history, I think it'll be a little fun to go over it. Also, cause I know you don't know anything about it. I don't. So the history about it, Um, I'm forgetting, you, you know, for the guy who said it looks, I'm forgetting the name of the guy who freaking uh, wrote this movie or heard. So the director also wrote this. Um. They originally, they were, this movie was like in production for like seven years or something. They were like, because like it was in pre-production for like seven years. It never got off the ground. It, uh, you know, that, that happens People a lot. People were that desperate for a new Tarzan movie? Well, no, it happens a lot with movies. You know, you have an idea around, but it never just like, you know, it just takes years to get off the ground. Yeah. Um, And well, the, at the time was they were like, the reason it came up is like, you know what? It's like, cause it's the 1980s now. Um, We can get away. We can do so much more now with, with what is required for a Tarzan movie. Um, Now, what? what? in your opinion, is required for a Tarzan movie? Well, no, no. They were like, well, at the time then, it was like, okay, think about this. It's the 1980s. They don't, CGI does not exist. Yeah. All the other times, they really had to, like, um, cut a lot of corners and they had to move around because, you know, they couldn't go to a jungle and just shoot. Uh, and they couldn't just film stuff. I mean, they could, but... No, I mean, it wouldn't work. I mean, they couldn't, like... They're like, at first, they actually uh, were thinking about, ironically, in this movie, they originally uh, thought about using real apes. I feel like PETA would have had some serious no, concerns. No, no, no. Dude, there's a bunch of animal actors. It's not... It, it does happen. But they're also like, you know, if the time is right, there are a lot of people who can do stuff. Uh, we can go to places, more places now. We can do more things. Planet of the Apes came out. Um, We have we have the makeup. No, no. So they're like, no, no. At first, they actually wanted to use actual apes, but they're like, that might be too, uh, too hard. 
Um, let, let, let's not put a child near the vicinity of apes that might do something. It wasn't just well, they didn't, they didn't know if they were going to do that or not. They didn't know how they were going to approach it yet. This was just this, this is still in the planning stage. They wanted to do that. And look, it, there have been productions that have like done um, a lot, worked with a lot of animals at once. Granted, a lot of those productions didn't end very well. But uh, there's that one movie. Um, you don't remember that one movie? No. Uh, uh, Roar, I think it's called. Um, oh, this is gonna end well. Uh, this was uh, so the the people who filmed it. This is a very famous cult movie. I think it's Roar. Um, where they uh, uh, it was a family. Not the like, not the song. No, not the. There's a song called Roar. Yeah, like you're gonna hear me roar. Uh, okay, not 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 remotely what I'm talking about. Um, the Katy this, Perry song Roar. Oh, this is a Katy. Perry, I don't know. I don't care. Anyway, there was this family. Uh, they had this. They had a house, and they basically they took a lot of space out for it, and they got so many freaking animals. Like, and I mean like a, like a variety. Like it was like a freaking savanna. This feels like it was illegal. Uh, no, no, this is totally legal. They had like well, you know, you literally can do it as long as you have enough space. They had like uh, a bunch of lions, tigers. All, all honestly, seriously, look this up. This did this. Did, they made a movie about, and then they made a whole this movie is, with it. Oh my god. Um, and then uh, during the production of it. Like they had so many like injuries and stuff, uh, and even like near fatalities. Like I think like the who died? No one died. Really? No, miraculously, no one died. A lot of people got mauled though. Yeah, surprisingly enough, yeah. filling an filling a house with a bunch of predatory well, animals no, no, so the main thing resulted that, in someone getting hurt. Well, one of the main things that worked around with it is well, it was like a whole. It wasn't like a, like one house. It was like a whole ranch area. Still, and no, no, and the animals were familiar with the family. Um, because they they grew up with them. They, they, what about the production crew? Um, well, the, most of the production crew was with them, but they mostly hurt the family because they were the main ones interacting with the animals, and so it was a lot of them getting injured. Um, but the movie they they've released the movie, but it is like consider like well, like one of the most like turbulent not turbulent. I don't know what the hell I was gonna say. Turbulent, Tur- tumultuous, tur- 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 tumultuous, tumultuous, maybe like one of like one of the grueling productions ever done in movie history. Tumultuous. Yeah, and probably one that people do not and want to you repeat. you thought Tiger King was rough. Uh, to be, if you, have you watched Tiger King? I haven't watched it. No, and I'm not but planning to. I just to. dated this podcast. Um, did you? I feel like everyone's already forgotten about it. Good. Um, it's one of the things that's like just meme history now. Um, it's that thing that was on Netflix and only was doing well because no one had anything else to watch. Yeah, literally that. Nothing new was out. Um, but anyway, it, it was kind of like that. But um, essentially... So yeah, I think they're that, that I don't think Roar had come out yet, but I think the the and also like you know doing a production and you know we saw them they used re- some real animals for this they had like a real leopard, uh, a real uh, jaguar I think or yes. panther yes they did so so they could do it they just but they're like for the How, you know uh, the monkey like the ape performance is gonna be like the more important stuff no, uh, and we don't have Andy Circus CGI yet and or we can go so we can either go like in a Planet of the Apes direction or we can get actual apes and then I think they were like well, let's just get ape performance it just seems and honestly so they went in a Planet of the Apes direction yeah with no, the makeup no, no they the went movie. like OG Planet of the Apes direction yeah, yeah. yeah no or like what Tim Burton did but I honestly think like the ape effects and the and the and the 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 the, 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 the ape effects the Thank costumes. Thank you for reminding me of the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes. Movie. No problem, it's uh, my pleasure. But dude, the ape effects in this movie are really good. Yeah, they're not bad. They're, like the oh, you couldn't even tell they were they were actually no, people I in costumes. No, no, they're really good. You I, got confused. I yeah. thought they were actual apes. That's yeah. How when it I is. Fir- when I first watched this movie, I was like, for like I remember like because the apes take up a lot of the the screen time as um, they should. No, they should actually no. So here's the thing. Um, in the original cuts way longer. Uh, turns out they had to cut a lot out. There oh was, my God. there was way more ape stuff. Uh, the director didn't even realize they they actually filmed so are we, are much. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Release the Tarzan. Release cut. the yes. Release, release the Tarzan. Cut. Release the Greystoke cut. Release the Greystoke. Hashtag release the Greystoke cut. Um, so that's they, our first piece of merchandise. They ended up. Uh, so they ended. Up, uh, there's a lot of. Behind we will petition for this. Um. So a lot of behind the scenes. Uh. So that was one of the big things. Is like they actually like had a lot of extra. Uh, um. They had a lot of extra ape footage left, and they just like he he the the director really that was really what his main focus. He really wanted to do that. It was just gonna be like a bunch of grunting. No, 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 it wasn't. He just wanted like look. He wanted to do a lot of honestly, but to be fair, like that's actually my favorite part of the movie is that I love. So like I I mean, it's better when like the people aren't around. So we're not gonna go full too much into the story. I think we will be here way too long because that and also we. Kind of went over the story. Yeah, we've the, gone over the story in one of our in our previous uh in one of the previous ones of the book. So go back to that one if you want to know how the Tarzan story works. I'll go over the we'll go over the main differences real quick. Um, you know lot. how I said I didn't really want to get into the Downton Abbey stuff in a Tarzan story. Half of this movie is half that? this movie is literally just Downton Abbey shit. It's not bad. Well, because you know, I got to be realistic. I mean, I don't care about the inner workings of the Earlhood of I whatever. Know, but that's actually part of the story. Uh, anyway, um, but so one of the bigger changes in this movie, um. 
I want to say is uh. Well, I mean, they change a couple mild stuff. Daronaut is, I think, Belgian and is not French. Even though he speaks French, has a yeah. French accent, and literally... Yeah, does. I, no, no, but it could also just... I mean, look, at the time, there were a lot of French people in Belgium, so that could also just been the case. Yeah, well, also... The, oh, there were also a lot of Belgian people in Africa. You want me to mention the Belgian people in no, Africa? No, no, we're not talking about it. Because I'm going to talk about we're that. We're not going to talk about yeah, it. Okay. Um. Anyway, so, but Daronaut's in this... I told you, I'm, I'm going to have fucking words. All right. Uh. Uh. Jane Porter is now... Um. Uh, is now the ward to the Earl of Greystoke, so uh, Tarzan's grandfather. Um, so, like, uh, I forgot what was, what was it, John Clayton, I think, the, the first. Or... They're all named John Clayton. Yeah, they're all Clayton. Every single one. Um, but, so, what, is that a big problem, though? Call him Big J. Yeah, Big J. All right. Uh, big C. The big C. Because <laughs> Clayton. Because Clayton. Uh, Johnny C. Anyway, um, we're calling him Johnny yeah. C. Uh, the William Clayton that we're all I think, familiar with, like the bad guy, doesn't really show up. This he kind of does. He's a dick. No, no, no. Like there is a character as much as anyone in that situation is but a dick. There is a character that that does show up that is similar to it. Yeah. Like the yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? I, I yeah, know. he's very similar, but he's not him. He's clearly not him. He's not even named that. Yeah. yeah. Look, they, they changed a lot of stuff, but it's essentially pretty accurate to the story. Um, hell, even um. I think the biggest thing you is... you want to go beat by beat or just like kind of... Well, no, no, The biggest thing I think I just want to go now is that Tarzan doesn't meet Jane and some of the others until he gets to London. You mean like they don't come... Or Scotland or wherever the hell they live? I don't... Fuck, it's all the same uh, island, right? I don't know. But no, no. He doesn't meet any of them until way later down. Like they don't come to Africa first. Yeah. He doesn't save her from crap. It's like, no, he just... He, he gets found in the... So, I mean, the main way the story works is... Um, you know, it's the same. Yeah. He gets found about like the first, honestly, the first half an hour, 40 minutes of this movie is really just all in the jungle. And that is totally fine. Yeah. And I actually kind of love John it. John and Alice Clayton leave. Uh, John's dad. They leave Greystoke for the last time. Yeah. John, uh, John's father, John. Uh, <laughs> John and John. John and John. Good. John and John. Uh, yeah. So John Sr. is very, very hesitant to let his son. And his I mean, son. what's the worst thing that could happen to him in Africa in well, the 1800s? What would happen to them in Africa in the 1800s? What? A, a, a lot. I know a lot. There's like disease. You know what's weird? No, no, no. no, no. They don't know crap about where they're going. Um, where were more they More disease. Going? I have no idea. Like, Did they don't even mention. Like, The movie itself doesn't even specify where they are. It, mm. The most specific There are gets, pirates. It's like mm. equatorial Africa. Yeah. Like um, the coast of equatorial Africa. Yeah. That's it. There are a lot of like, it's you know. It's near a coast. There's a lot of dangers. I'm just saying like the chances of your survival like back then and is like coming back is not 100%. So they crash. So they, yeah, they, they, they crash. Well, they, they die. Not, uh, they, no, no, eventually. No, 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 eventually. The, 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 the Their same, ship crashes. The same as the book. So they basically, they crash. They make but a like, home. No, the book actually shows the with them leaving the boat. They just kind of wash up ashore the, in the movie. The, you mean the, the, the movie. movie? When does the book show them? What, Sorry, what? the movie. Yeah, the movie. The Disney movie actually shows them. We're not talking about the Disney movie. I am. Okay. Whatever. Point is, basically... Oh, by the way, for those who don't know, uh, in the original story and stuff, the reason the uh, they got kicked off their, their ship and stuff like that is there was a mutiny because uh, there was a bunch of pirates who were a bunch of assholes, and they... Uh, so, yeah, I can and see then, what... And then... Oh, I'm done. Oh, my God. And then the ship got stuck into a storm, and then, so it got, they got screwed anyway. This seems it was unnecessarily so complicated. Uh, so did one of them, yeah. like... Step on a black cat or whatever? Maybe. Or kill a leprechaun? Could be. Well, why would they kill a leprechaun? Because I mean, like, they're Brits. They hate the Irish. No, no, but wouldn't that give you luck, not not reduce your luck? No, I'm, I don't know how luck works. I, so, oh, I don't know. You want to bring, bring a leprechaun murder? I, they're Brits. They hate the Irish. Um. Um. All right. They do. Uh, all right. <laughs> um. So no, clearly the reason ashore. we're here to talk. Yeah, talking. they wash up ashore yeah. on... The an coast, island on the coast, an island on, on where, somewhere. Oh, on the island that is the entire continent. They of land Africa. on lo- no, they're on Lost now. Yeah, they're, they're on Lost. Uh, yeah, Lost. I don't know. Uh, they're Lost. Alice tries to find John. She meets up with the captain. She's like, "What the fuck? What happened?" The captain is in just a constant state of "It wasn't my fault." It, it's like a yeah, reverse. It's a reverse. It's a reverse Goodwill Hunting where he just like reassures himself, like "It wasn't my fault." It's denial. Yeah, he's like, "I didn't do it. Nothing goes wrong." Yes, but I, um, that's the one thing. And I he thought. and he most certainly died. It doesn't like, matter. We never see him. Again. He just disappears. We never but, see And him. it's like you're pretty sure he's dead. Uh, it'd be really funny though if he like he like made it. Uh, and they just the whole t- he no, made he, it. No, he made it. He was fine, and he's actually doing really no, well no. now. And no one knew. No, no, he made it. He was fine. Immediately executed when he gets back. 
<laughs> yeah. It was your fault. Mm. Slice. Oh, that'd be funny. Uh, anyway, so what ends up happening? John and Alex are stranded in Africa. Uh, John keeps a journal. What happened to not going over everything? I mean, like, not everything. Okay, just the basic stuff. Look, the basic part on that, we don't have to go over that part. It's the same thing. Yeah. They have a kid. He, um, the two die. Um, well, no, you kind of have to, like, specify how the two die. Okay, fine. So, it, it's the same. No, it's the same. No, it's the same, but, like, it's not, oh, the two die. No, like, it's kind of plot relevant because, like, whatever. Okay. She dies of disease because the uh, Malaria, them. I think she had. Yeah. Yes, the it's, it's actually really sad. Yes. She dies, uh, and which she is like went delirious and everything. It's, it's, she it went like she went crazy, and then she died. And then, uh, so it looks like look, it's gonna be Mister Mom. Looks like John's gonna be a single dad. No, and then the apes show up, and then the apes show up, and then the apes show up. Yep. And then so the leader uh, of the apes they end up uh, uh, killing John. Uh, I like how it happens because he like, in order. To, like, get leverage over them once they, like, enter mm. the house. He has to, like, jump over his dead wife and across the room and then, like, get a gun. And then as, as he's loading it, and then he, they just... They yeah, I like how, the, like, in that case, the movie's kind of, like, you know, in, like, realistic in that sense where it's, like, they're not, like, you know... Um, I mean, there's drama in it, but they're not, like, dramatizing how things... Work. It's like, no, they're freaking... There's there's an ape and a guy, and we're doing survival here. What? How crazy does this... Like, we don't have, like, a, an insane chase sequence or whatever. No. It he, is what it is. He immediately gets overpowered and beaten to death. Yeah. Like the bitch he is. Uh, why is he a bitch? He seemed like a pretty cool dude. <laughs> I meant, no, it's just like... He, he just like what? What about him? Seem like an like a bad person? When did I say bad? I, no, I, I called him a bitch because he is a bitch. He went out like a punk bitch. Ow! He just, he just like tried desperately to load his six shooter and then immediately gets flicked out of his hand and punch. I don't know. Let's. I'm just gonna go with the argument that let's say he's been in Africa for over a year now, barely surviving, probably malnourished. Uh, he less just lost his wife. All right, we get and it. You're probably a, all hope. All right, I got it. You're a simp for John Clayton. No, I'm just understanding. Like I'm just putting it into perspective. I'm calling him a like. It just seems like you know. That's like that's that's like saying like you know. Um, like the puss he is. I know, but that's like what a scrub. I know, but that's like calling someone like um. I don't know. That's like saying anyone from like one of those like um like in like a refugee camp or something like that. Like one of those camps where they it's like oh they just died like like from starvation or whatever from one whipping like a punk bitch after five years of malnourishment and no and neglect and basically no human contact or any of that crap. I don't think you know how refugee camps work. No, and I'm talking about, I'm not, I don't mean refugee camps. I mean, no, you're right about most of that. Yeah. But I'm saying, but that, yeah, but I'm saying, so why say it to him when he kind of is like in the same it's boat? Funny. Okay. Because it's funny. And what if we just said that, like, what do you say that about Nelson Mandela when he was in prison? What's wrong with you? Huh? Move on. I'm just saying. Why do you care so much about the integrity of this fictional character? Because the man, uh, the man died in ape death. It's like, I feel like give him some dignity. It was hilarious. <laughs> was it really hilarious? I always thought it was sad. It was sad. What was, what was hilarious was when Kala shows oh up God. with her dead baby. And, okay, look, I'm not judging because, again, apes uh, and, you know, societal norms ain't really a thing for the them. The minute she sees Tarzan. Drops in the her baby. Just drops her dead baby on drops the ground baby, like yeah. it's trash and then just takes Tarzan. Ooh, this one's moving. It's like, ooh, new baby. Mine now. Shiny. I mean, I wouldn't, like, take it as, like, you know, I mean... It, it's, it makes no, sense. No, no, no. The way the the way it's like filmed, the way it's framed in the movie, it's hilarious. You just literally yeah. drop, take, bye. I mean, un, it's, look, here's the thing. It's not one of those things where it comes off like a jackass move because it's understandable. She's an ape. Her baby not moving, he dead. And, you know, burials and funerals are not a thing for it's apes. It's just funny. Like, I the, know, like, yeah. The way it's like, like, no, it's literally just film the baby thud on the ground. I yeah, guess I have a just, new one now. It's like it's, it's sort of like she drops a doll and yeah. then she picks up a new one. And it's so funny, but it's like it's horrifying. But it's also kind of it's yeah. funny, but it's horrifying. So anyway, so Kala takes Tarzan and time starts to and move like, on. She lactates and tries to breastfeed. Well, it's understandable. I don't want to see that. I w well, OK, I don't want to. Sorry, what, what were you going to say? I don't want to see that specifically, but I do want to see like her see, trying could, to raise the boy. You could imply it. I don't want to see the specifics Fair. of how it goes. Um. So the one thing that's also really interesting about this is that um. so throughout it, like you never understand what the apes are saying. You only hear a grunt stuff. It's the same with like um. So it's different from like the Disney movie. Like they never talk. Uh, even Tarzan never really talks in. Until well, he learns how to yeah, speak. Yeah, until he learns how to actually speak. Um, the one thing I never, which we never really get to see much in these movies, which I really wish they would more, is just see like Tarzan, like once he becomes more societal, is like communicating with the apes, but then also to the people. Like an interpreter? Almost like an interpreter, like conveying crap. 
Yeah. Or like having conversations with them about stuff. Here's the thing. Uh, the people would not want to have conversations with apes because the people view themselves as above apes. No, no, no. But I mean, assholes. like, come on. Would not be fun. It would be fun to be like, okay, here's what they said. Here's what they said. Here's here's what they said. And like, we're no, going no, no, to no. initiate a dialogue. No, no, but I like, 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 here's what they say. Here's what they say. It's like, um, th that was one of the, actually the one of the, even though we're not really going to talk He's about it. He's the avatar. You know, and there, there was that. He's the balance between the, the two scene. worlds. But no, there was that one scene in like the 2016 or like the, the recent Tarzan movie. Like, we're not really going to end up talking about it during this whole marathon. But the one thing I liked about it a lot was, or not a lot, but one scene I really liked was when Tarzan like meets his like uh, his adoptive brother just again. Say, just say the one with Sam Jackson in it. The one with Sam Jackson. Yeah, the one with Sam Jackson. Fine, and and Margot Robbie and all that. But no, no, when he when he meets his brother no, again, Sam Jackson's the only. When, no, no, but when need. when Tarzan meets his adopted brother again, yes. he they end up having like a whole like communicate. Like they end up just talking, and then it's just Sam Jackson asking like like what what the hell's happening? What are we doing? And he's like, we have to do this, we do that. He's my brother. He's it's like there's like a family dynamic, and I love that. So it's like it's just like. And Sam Jackson's like, this seems like a personal thing. I don't need to be here. No, he said like, no, no. So it's your brother. That's a good thing, right? It's like, no, 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 no. I ditched them and they're not happy about it. And we're going to fight now. So just stand there and watch. I don't want to watch this. Like, oh, you're going to watch. Um, I'm going to rip my shirt off. It's going to be but, hot. But uh, uh, it was actually cool. It was actually a pretty good fight. You're going to uh, watch this, Sam Jackson. You, you haven't seen that movie. or I know. I just love that. It's like, yeah. okay, so here's what happened. I ditched them and now we're going to fight. And... You're just gonna have to like take it. Yeah. Uh take it in stride. The apes do even in this movie too, in Grey Stoke as well, the apes do fight a lot, which is normal. Apes do fight, tend to fight a lot. They like to fight. Apes like to fight. Um like man, the most evolved ape. Yes, you're so smart. Commentary! Yes. I was like two seconds away from making that joke, but I was like, that's eh, probably played out. Uh, yeah, that's why I did it like that. Um Futurama did. It's like turns out the most dangerous animals, man. Was man! <laughs> There you got yeah, you have to say it like that. Dun dun dun. Um, and so aren't we the real monster? We are. As but time, we the as real time goes on, so yeah, we get to see like spoilers. We are the real monster. <laughs> so we get to see Tarzan grow up with the apes. But again, I like let's think. Like you'd think that um Question. you said they used the real Panther for this, right? Uh well it was pretty obvious they used a real Does that panther. mean like there's a scene where he's hanging out with like where Tarzan as a kid is hanging out mm. with his ape friend, and then his ape friend gets mauled by a panther randomly. Mm. And so Tarzan has to swim away to survive. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. Does that did that guy in the ape suit no, get mauled I think by the, a panther? So I think the way they did it, they probably could have done it two ways. Uh, they probably either ape would have like filled the ape suit with like a bunch of padding and had the guy who was handling the the panther uh, deal with it, or they endanger the guy in the suit. No, 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 no. Or they just made panther. like no, no. Or they just made like a dummy or something for the panther to 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 play with or whatever. Or option three, they endanger the guy in the yeah, suit. Yeah, yeah. Or the option three, they just it's yeah. an intern. It's just the end. it's an unpaid intern. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, hey, Stevie, the intern, can you come here for a second? Wear the suit. Yeah. Uh, I promise it's this time it's not, like, for a weird kink thing. Just wear the suit. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, You'll get like, all the credits. I swear, you get all the college credits, I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you sign the release form, right? Yeah, it's like, you know, you want to be in this industry, you get mauled by a panther. You, you got to sign the waiver, let's do this. Got it. It's like, no, no, it's like, uh, people think Hollywood today is tough. <laughs> what a cutthroat industry, literally. Literally, yeah. No, 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 it's like, come on. Nowadays, um... Uh, people like nowadays like like you know back in the old days you know besides the other stuff we're not going to talk about you really want to get a role you got to get mauled by a panther moving on moving on <laughs> you get mauled. um so um eventually tarzan gets okay now here's the thing i love they are not in this movie he is i know great. you do buddy oh come on he's great <laughs> is he played by christoph wallace uh, i think he is uh, he, he's good. So I actually, um, so Tarzan eventually grows up, blah, blah, uh, blah, 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 the, the usual. I, I still think these are actually some, those are some of my favorite parts of the whole movie when he just like with the apes and doing ape stuff. Like when he pees in his dad's mouth. That was funny. That was funny because he's he, a prick, but it's fun. He's an, it's an ape prank. That's true. No, it is an ape. He just pisses on his asshole of a dad. It's like, yeah, he's kind of a, he's kind of a like mischievous little shit. Um, and then, yeah, no, he's just, he's enjoying himself and he does his life. And then hanging he, out, hanging out, chilling out with the crew in the schoolyard. There's no schoolyards here. Chang, chilling out with the crew in the jungle. I don't know. Finding trouble. <laughs> I'm not going to keep going. Uh, Never looking too hard. Yeah. Well, um, eventually. So, yeah, eventually, like, Darnot comes. And so wait, uh, one thing I do like is actually the scene um, before we move on with it is the the, the call of death scene. Oh, uh, I actually think it's handled really well. Um. 
because he doesn't like know how to process the death of a loved one because he doesn't know yeah. what that is. Yeah, and it's not like look, and it's not like in. Uh, I mean, one of his friends got mauled by a panther a couple years back. I think he would understand. Yeah, but dude, his mom was like the like. That, I know. Yeah, he. No, I think he would understand what death is. Yeah. Um. Well, no, but he has, but that, but that's how they confirm it. They're like, okay, like death is like it, that's the thing. It's like to them, it's that idea of like you can't move anymore, you can't do anything, you're not responding. Yeah, that's what death. Like he does things to confirm, which is which is it, like, it's sad, to, but it's he puts it's her like, hand on his head because like to try to get her to pat him again. Yeah, he tries to give her water. He tries to heal her up because that's what that's what she used to do to him. It's 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 that whole. She gave him water. She healed him up. He tries to get her to pat him. She's not moving. He like screams because he doesn't understand how to process. It's very sad. It's a very yeah. very sad. But it's very well. Scene. It, it, it's a very well done scene. Yes. Um. Eventually, uh. So Darnot shows up with his uh with his hunting or party crew. Uh, it's an expedition funded by the British they're Museum. Ass, they're just jackasses. They're just a bunch of jackasses. They're not to say my comrades fought, like view themselves as like the foremost of all God's creatures, and I'm like, that is true. Yeah, they're not even subtle. Like they're not even subtle. They're just like like like. Why would they be? No, no, they're just like comic book bad guy douchebags. Like all colonizers. Yeah. Anyway, uh, they end up half of them getting get killed, and the other half of them get escaped. Oh, they get slaughtered by like natives. Uh, it's fucking amazing. Like, but they are not get screwed no, over. No, no. I just want to. No, I want to point this out. Yes. Seeing white people get slaughtered by natives in a place where they should not be in the first place is awesome. Moving on. Anyway, um, why should they not be there? Hmm? Why should they not be there? They're literally there to exploit the entire... Like, no, 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 I get that, but it doesn't mean they shouldn't be there. Like, they can't be there. They're, they're, they're like, not there for... Like, they are there for bad reasons, and yeah. they are there no, to no, destroy the place look, that they just say come. what it actually is. You get to see the assholes get what they deserve. You're goddamn right. That's it. Just say that. Um, don't, don't say, like, they're white people. Like, that's stupid. I mean, not all the assholes end up getting killed. But whatever. Anyway, so Daranaut gets injured. Um, One and, of the bigger assholes dies. He gets, like, shot uh, oh, with an yeah. arrow. It's fucking That was great. obvious. Yeah, He's the first. No, I remember, like, he was the first one to get shot with an arrow. And I, I screamed, yes! Yeah. Happy. Vengeance! Anyway, uh, so Daranaut gets... I had fun with this part. Th- yes. Daranaut gets found by Tarzan, who basically nurses him back to health. Uh, and uh, over the time, they form a friendship. And so Daranaut starts teaching him how to speak and how to, um, well... Do other things. How to shave. Uh, I am genuinely surprised Tarzan didn't, like, slit his own throat by mistake. <laughs> yeah. Um, but actually, look, I think also, like, the friendship between Daranaut and Tarzan is also one of my favorite parts of this. He's more like a surrogate dad. He just, he's like, yeah, they're, he's a they're bros, man. They're, like, he's a surrogate dad. Yeah. He's literally, he, like, raises him from the, again. He, he He's a surrogate dad. He teaches him everything. Yeah, he's a, he's a father figure to him. Yeah, and, uh, and he like except for that part where he like consistently like ins- like he insists on Tarzan. No, you're a guy. You're not a you're not an ape. You're a guy. Yeah, the whole a lot of this movie is basically Tarzan. I'm like just labels, man. Yeah, whatever. A lot of this is is Tar- let me be free. A lot of this is Tarzan's struggle. Um, that uh, the duality uh, of his of his upbringing. He, no, yeah, it's just the struggle that's like like to figure out where he where he belongs. Nature versus from. nurture, except for the fact that he like yeah. was nurtured in nature. That, that's something we're gonna get in later on. No, about. no, no. He was like nurtured in nature. Mm. So is it nature versus nurture or nurture with nature? I, I have I have cro- I'm cross eyed. And I've gone cross eyed. Oh no, no. But it's something we'll go more on like on the whole theming and some of the things that we're we might to go split for. this episode into two parts. This is a very we, we might have a lot more to say about this than we, we think. Might, we might have a lot more. Um, um, but, I think it's probably a good idea. We might split this into two parts. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but we'll get into that in, in, the, in, the, in part two when we talk about uh, like more of the theming. and, and what So I guess you agree to. with me. What? We should split this into two parts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we're definitely going to do that. Um, which is yay, which means you guys get an extra week of Tarzanathon. Woo! Woo! Also, uh, no, nah, I mean, like, so wait. After he, like, they are not kind of raises him. Like, no, he... Like, he's already, like, cognizant to an extent. He just teaches him language and mm-hmm. screams at him that he's a guy and that his family... Well, he keeps trying to... Th- well, he teaches him and teaches him because it takes them a long time. Because yeah. he's like, I'm going to take you back. I want to take you back to... Um, also, he's like, he just... He finds... Because, gray- like, no, like, like, he finds out who he is. Yeah, he figures it out. It's not that hard. Uh, like, once he gets the journal like, and he's like... Stokes- corpses like their skeletons and also all their stuff no no, no like the he, they house. found they like because you know even even tarzan finds the um uh like his his parents cabin years prior and conveniently there's like an educational cube where it's like a is for ape and b is for boy and it's like wait i but well no he sees the pictures he sees, no, and they also have like illustrations like one has an ape and one has a boy no, he's like that like this looks like my family but this looks like me but they're saying they're two but, different but, things but i i don't understand um and this, so time moves on, and so Daranaut ends up taking Tarzan back. He starts teaching him, and, and he learns, and he learns. Uh, and eventually he brings him, um, well, he brings him to Scotland, and so they go. And Not really sure how long it, 
how long? Whatever. Like, how long do they say they are not was with Tarzan? Uh, about eight months, something like that. Oh, we forgot to mention that one scene where they like go by those assholes to try and get like passage back. So yeah, when they're this is Africa. when they're they're decided to leave Africa. Uh, which I think we'll also use as like okay, we're gonna probably use a uh, uh, at part one Africa, part two oh, England, not Africa, <laughs> part two all the other Downton Abbey stuff. Yeah, uh, part two so what stupid stuff. Basically, Diana are not and and Tarzan basically try to hitch a ride uh so they can get find a way. To get the hell, because look, you're there in Africa, and it's like 18. Actually, no, maybe it's like 1912. I don't even know, uh, because I think in that movie Tarzan's born like 1889. They they don't have years, do they? Yeah, they literally mentioned the beginning like of the movie. 1880 something. Yeah, yeah, and then so then in the movie's like probably early 1900s. Uh, but they're like, we gotta like, uh, and also you know, automobiles are a thing in this movie. Yeah, like cars. So so this is like the early 1900s. Um, or they're like they're just they're a brand new thing, but they're like automobiles the automobile yes but they're uh they're like we gotta get we gotta get to freaking like scotland or london or whatever and, this gonna, and we're in africa and this is getting in the middle of nowhere it's gonna take a while we're not in the middle of nowhere at, at the time yeah according to who huh like that's a, that's a very biased perspective well, did you we're not in the middle of where nowhere. okay here's the thing what was the closest civil life there was no one near them tarzan was people a, near them huh no but there, tarzan was in a very remote part of the jungle then how can people keep fucking finding him? I don't know. They don't even go that deep. Fair. Uh, fair, fair, fair. Doesn't he live right next to a tribe? Uh, no, he lives nearby. Yeah. Because remember, he only ran into them once. Yeah, boom, Maybe civilization. Twice. Anyway. No, it's like, boom, mm-hmm. civilization, other people. There yeah. you go. So what ends up happening, though, uh, before that... So it's not that remote. But before all that happened, um, so Tarzan had ended up uh, fighting his, the, the... Well, okay, so his father slash leader uh, got his ass whooped by another ape was a dick uh so then tarzan's he's like no nah. bigger dick he's in a bigger dick so like screw it no we're fighting now uh and he ends up killing him i think yeah he, he i think he kills him how or he beats him um he, one or the other but he ends up basically <gasps> becoming you know the king of, of he, apes he enacts like ape socialism where he kills a panther because he uses his dad's hunting knife which is also from yeah. the book he kills a panther cuts off a leg gives it to another ape and then he's about to throw the panther corpse to the head ape and then you're like throws it to all the other apes and then they all eat it together and i'm like i invented ape socialism old man yeah. fuck you well no because there's an ape hierarchy and he's like no i'm in charge I fight it this is how we're gonna do it that yeah was before the fight though no i know he's like I but eventually it. that's what makes him like enrages the new leader and they're like that's when they get to all that's fight what, that's what and eventually I mean. which i always find funny is that like when darren decides to take him back so tarzan who's just beat was the king of apes just kind of ditched the apes just ditched his people well i mean he also had this i'm just gonna say french guy he had this friend belt whatever it's all the same. No, uh, I know, but like, no, no, no. He, he also had like this guy drilling it into his head all the time nah, and it, screaming like, "Not your family! You he's are like, a okay. man, not your family!" Yeah, no. As that he's mostly Tarzan, literally, like, he screams it at him. No, I get that. But as Tarzan, he's like, when Tarzan's like, he he becomes king of the apes. He's like, I am king of the apes. I'm now gonna take a short sleeve, maybe forever. Uh, good luck, you guys. Like take any good politician. Bippo is in charge. Bippo. I don't know. Who Bippo is the he's super in... monkey. Bippo the super monkey. Bippo the super monkey. He's in if charge. Bippo the super monkey was in charge. They would be a fucking superpower. It would be a dominant race. It would be a do- superpower in the jungle over every yeah. other species. And so no, no. But so as we leave off on part one. No, it's just... Tarzan. Wait, Tarzan ventures off to no, land. I'm not doing this. Okay, fine. No, but I do. It's like like any good politician. I will ditch all of you immediately before having to do anything. Before claiming any responsibility. Um, Fine. And so Tarzan and Dayarnot venture off into the great unknown. Into the mysterious, into the, re- into the white man's world. The worst place to be. <laughs> and into the real jungle. So come back for part two, where we come back to Greystoke! Please stop screaming it. Greystoke! <laughs> okay, we're done. Greystoke! Hi, thanks for watching to the end of the video. Uh, like, subscribe, or hit that notification bell. It really helps the show out. If you want to go see more of us, we have a podcast with way more episodes, so go check that out. We also have a Twitter uh, where we mostly just post new uploads when they come out uh, and updates on the show. So if you want to like keep up on the progress that we make, go follow us there.